Hi Aries, thanks for watching. In fact, hi to everyone who's watching, because I know it's more than just Aries that, uh, that watch these. Seem to be proving very popular, so I'll do lots more of these uh, tarot readings by star sign for the different events that come up in the month. Uh, for example, I, I did one for the new moon uh, not long ago. Uh, but this is now a reading for the whole of the month of May for Aries, a general reading looking into anything and everything. I'm going to do a card for each week and then we're going to go deeper, looking for clarity uh, with some Dorian Virtue cards and some Work Your Light Oracle cards by Rebecca Campbell too. Okay, so I'm asking now for a card for Aries, please, for the first week of May 2019. So a card, please, for Aries for the first week of 2019. A card for Aries, please, for the first week of 2019. Oop, it's fallen out where... Here we go, oh, now then. Here is a good one. A real good one to start the month off, Aries. The Six of Pentacles, got that rounded, uh, that rather magical number six there. Uh, we've also got a strong indication of justice. Uh, now, the uh, the full moon in May is going to be in Scorpio, but uh, the Libra full moon from April is still in full effect until we get there. Okay, so uh, there's still a balancing influence going on really strongly, Aries, in the first week of May. And uh, I feel this uh, relates to love as well as money. In fact, may relate to love even more than money. Those are two things we've had a chance to get straight, actually, uh, as the Libra full moon has gone on. And there's been other things going on in astrology which uh, add to that and, and help it all to flow. Um, so six of pentacles there. It's definitely looking at least OK for money. There's no nasty shocks there, right? Everything's being given out as it should be and uh, everything is showing up as being in balance. And uh, in terms of love, uh, I feel there'll be a tall, strong person coming in. Uh, you, to me, I'm thinking of a man coming in. Uh, but, you know, everybody watches these videos and uh, all these energies are fluid. You know, we're, we're working with that kind of energy that uh, addresses itself to everyone individually. And it can change as it goes, OK? It's all about uh, visualise, believe. Try and be in the right place in your head as we go forward. But this is a great way to start, Aries. OK? So now then, there's a couple of ifs and buts and maybes in there. So let's start with the Doreen Virtue card for some clarity for the first week of May for the sign of Aries, please. That's the sign of Aries, the first week of May 2019 for a bit more clarity, please. That's a card for clarity for Aries for the month of May 2019. And here we are. Right. So then. This really adds to the balance side of things. And again, I feel we're in terms of relationships and love here. That might vary for you. Who knows? But we've got this character coming in who's going to bring... Uh, I, was, I was almost going to say liberation, and I was going to say that for a reason, OK? So we're looking at freedom as part of the balancing act here. But the main part of any balancing act of a spiritual nature is the one that goes on in you guys. And... Uh, <clears throat> The most important interpretation of any reading is the interpretation you place on it as well. Um, I tend to go in psychic, uh, for, for psychic interpretations of the tarot cards. Um, I've been reading them since the 1980s, and uh, that to me is when it's been at its most accurate, so that's the way I do it. Um, and then, you know, we go deeper into this. I can't remember what I was talking about. Never mind, choose peace. It's a choice, Aries, OK? Uh, because of the activities of Mercury and also the Sun in Taurus getting involved with Capricorn, and, uh, a lot of things that have gone on lately have led to a lot of fast-paced communication. And you may be, a bit, be, be beginning to feel rather burned out as we come towards May, Aries. Uh, OK, but peace is a choice. You've really got to detach from drama. And there's another card here in this same deck that says detach from drama and it didn't come up. This one did, but do remember that detach from drama thing because you see all this symbolism, all these images around Paramahansa Yogananda. Um, they're kind of... It, it's a ring and it, it's a defence really. It's It's keeping... Keeping the distractions, keeping the troubles, keeping the darkness, basically, to the outside. And uh, that's keeping it to the outside of the soul, of course, I'm afraid. We, we've all got to grapple with darkness as we go forward in life, haven't we? 
not an easy thing to do. But Paramahansa Yogananda says, choose peace. And uh, so you will have to put that ring of energy around yourself. If you're British and you're my age, you might remember the Ready Breck ring where the, the little boy lights up because he's had Ready Breck. So basically, just imagine yourself lighting up and glowing. Okay, sounds strange, doesn't it, when we're talking about peace and meditation to see yourself lighting up and glowing. But we really do light up, come to life and absolutely sparkle uh, when we are in that meditative state. Because uh, it, it's kind of, it's tranquility in this life, but it's super active in the, the sort of the supernatural realms, the realms the, the, the pop where the higher self lives, that's just around us in this world where we live. It's all in this world, it's all on, on this planet, in my opinion, in terms of the human experience, whether that's spirit guides, spirit people, or whatever it is. So choose peace, Aries, okay? It really is something you... Often, you know, particularly at a time like this when people have been talking so fast and everybody's been so insistent on getting things done and uh, trying to push, maybe even manipulate each other a little bit into going too fast, uh, that is just a massive amount of energy to deal with. And uh, it's it's a bit like a cliffhanger in a TV programme, you know, um, or TV show. They, um, they'll kind of... Uh, you know, the, well, the character will be hanging off a cliff. And so if you don't tune in next time, you won't find out the end of the story. It gets to feel a bit like that, Aries, uh, particularly for, for the Aries energy, I'm thinking, actually. Uh, but at a time like we've had, and to an extent we're still going through, because uh, the, the, some big hitters of the uh, the astrological world are, are busy at the moment. I mean, Pluto retrograde, all kinds of things going on for a long time. But... Um, this is the, just the thing, you see, it goes on and on and on. It never stops. You've got to break off some time to recharge those batteries, okay? So I'm putting that with the Six of Pentacles there for Aries, okay? We'll do one more card, actually, to uh, to look at that first week in May because it's a significant one. And I'm going to open up Rebecca Campbell, Work Your Light deck and uh, ask for a card, please, for Aries. Ugh. Right. Card for more clarity, please, for Aries for the first week of May 2019. Some more clarity, please, for the sign of Aries for the first week of April, of May 2019. A card for the first week of May 2019 for Aries, please, for the greater clarity. And what's the top one? This one, deep replenishment. There we go. Plays into the last one. Um, they. I'm, I'm, I'm always a bit amazed at how uh, how much these things are guided, you know. I mean, I guess you get used to watching a medium, you get used to watching a psychic, and, you know, that's what I've said I'm going to do, and my channel's grown and grown, so, it, you know, that's obviously what I'm going to do. But it always comes as a bit of a surprise to me, and uh, maybe that's something I need to give out to Aries this month. Okay, so deep replenishment. We've got the balance thing going on. We've got great possibilities for visualisation and for unlocking the higher chakras, really getting into that spiritual zone as we go through May. But deep replenishment is needed. It says retreat, rest, be held. So important, Aries. Okay, be held. That's a good one to, uh, to think about, actually, because the troubles that come up, the things people argue about are nearly always about things where something's not cut and dried, something where there isn't a clear answer and someone wants a really clear answer. Um, life simply isn't like that. People just don't find answers like that. But that is where a lot of angst and a lot of anxiety comes from. So we've just got to remember that the world is the way it is. Things will sort themselves out in time. They always do. The planet holds us close, holds us tight. Uh, remember the protests that are going on around the world at the moment. Um, let, let's hope we get some progress towards not uh, wiping out the entire planet in 10 years' time. Um, the planet needs replenishment and nourishment, and so do we, guys. And the more of that we get, the better we're going to be able to treat our world and all the people in it. Okay, that's the first week of May for Aries 2019. Let's just put these to one side. Quick drink, excuse me. Second week of May, please, for Aries 2019. Second week of May, please, for Aries for 2019. Yes, that's right. Second week of May, please, for Aries for 2019. Second week of May, please, for Aries 2019. 
And for the second week of May for Aries to 2019, it's the Ace of Swords. Gosh, uh, a bit of a mixed blessing again, but, you know, we're talking about balance, aren't we? So there's going to be swings, there's going to be roundabouts, and they may not directly relate to each other, but they do all directly relate to our lives and the way we live them. Uh, a great deal to think about. This is, uh, this is newness coming in, Aries. And uh, that can be a tricky one for Aries because they tend to want to keep going the way things are. That's what, Air what Aries energy seems to be really good for in the worldly sense. But in the cosmic sense, it's really good for keeping everyone in tune and particularly for keeping yourself in tune, Aries. So by now, hopefully you've detached from drama and uh, you've had a bit of a rest as we get into the second week. But the Ace of Swords, something very, very strong to think about is what I'm seeing there. Um, but massive possibilities as well. You know, it passes right through the dead centre of a crown. Um, so this is a situation where you can uh, get on the rails, get on the path towards uh, really winning what you want to win. Uh, don't take your eyes off the prize when it comes to love, Aries. Again, I'm seeing more of that than I am of money in this. And uh, great healing as well, where love is concerned. But uh, that Ace of Swords thing, you know, it, it, it's a sword is... It can be a great thing, it can protect you, it can cut you in half at the same time. Uh, so forgiveness is likely to be needed in matters of love because this would be somebody from the past coming back into your life, Aries. Okay, so I'm going to ask for greater clarity on love, please, for Aries for the second week of May 2019. Greater clarity for Aries on love for the second week of May, please, 2019. Greater clarity, please, for Aries in matters of love for... The second week of May 2019 and the card we have from Doreen Virtue's Ascended Masters deck for that one is Come Out of the Closet. Okay, and what's this lady's name? Amaterasu. I can never rem remember that. Amaterasu. Okay, and straight away I'm seeing huge amounts of lapis lazuli here. Uh, this is spiritual thinking. Spiritual truth, you're going to have to come out and say it. And we are in matters of love here. This lady looks very kind of up and on top of things. So, uh, you know, again, fluid energies, guys, it could go either way. That could be, um, you know, a, a, a powerful woman, a powerful man, depending on the situation you were in. But this is a significant other coming. We're talking about someone coming back from the past, loud and proud, and you are really going to... Basically, I would get an apology out of them, okay? It is all good, it is all about balance, but I would get an apology out of them if I were you, Aries. Okay, so I'm asking for another card for Aries, please, for general clarity for the month of May. Let's see, not for the month, but for the second week of the month of May, 2019. A card, please, for the second week of the month of May for Aries in 2019. That's a card for clarity for Aries, please, for the second week of May 2019. And in my hand, the initiation, and it's all looking a bit dark. But well, this, this whole week, Aries, is like a corridor to greater things. We'll see what happens in the next two weeks. But uh, look at that long, dark corridor there. And look, though, at the light at the end of the tunnel. Looks really nice, and it kind of blends with my shirt and the backdrop thing as well. So I rather like that. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Right, and so this is really uh, crossing a big psychological threshold in matters of love, Aries. But I did ask for it to be a general card. So this is generally speaking, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, it's not actually about reaching the light at the end of the tunnel just yet. But that's the second week of May 2019 for you, Aries. Uh, in love, it really looks as if someone's coming. We've got a strong character in the first week. We've got a strong character in the second week. That is so strongly indicated, is it not? Mm. Now then, guys. Um, I'm often saying this, it's sort of quite important to me to be able to make progress with YouTube, try and kind of use better cameras and stuff. Um, nobody has to. I'm very happy. All these readings are given freely because I enjoy doing them. But if you'd like to help the uh, the Twig Brother cause, paypal.me forward slash Twig Brother, please. Uh, for any uh, donation you can spare, it's all very, very handy. It's all very helpful. And I thank you from my heart to everyone who's done that so far. I'm very touched. Uh, by the, the donations that have come in. That's paypal.me forward slash twig brother. Okay, money out the window, angels back in. And let's have a card, please, 
from the tarot for Aries for the third week of May 2019. That's a card for the third week of May 2019 for the sign of Aries, please. A card, please, for Aries for the third week of May 2019. And it's in my hand. And it's the Queen of Pentacles, but she's reversed. She's come up that way, the way she's come out of the deck. Um, okay, so lots of images here of fertility and uh, giving birth to new ideas, that kind of thing is what I'm thinking. And uh, we seem to have come a little bit away from the uh, the idea of love uh, at this point, Aries. So I feel that'll kind of settle down a bit, allow you guys to get your head around things before anything goes any further, because there's a lot of negotiating to do there in the second week. But uh, this is the Queen of Pentacles, she's reversed. If it is matters of love, then they're not reversed, but they're certainly taking something of a back seat as other things get sorted out, because uh, relationships kind of take up all your time and you've got to be in the right place, haven't you? So it's about getting in the right place in terms of relationships. For money, well, she's reversed, but this is the feminine side of energy uh, in terms of money. So we have to remember that. It's the esoteric side of things. Maybe not the best week to splash out on a load of new tarot cards, guys. But, uh, hey, no, I, I can't really say that because I'm all for that kind of thing. Visualise and believe, but do be careful with money, okay? And also in spiritual matters, if I bring the card, put it the right way up a minute so you can see it. Just look at all those symbols there. There's a sort of grey otherworldliness about those symbols there. So things to do with uh, not just the spiritual world. Well, it's probably all the same thing as far as I can tell. But uh, whether it's whether we see these things as aliens, as special thoughts, as spirit people, uh, that kind of thing is very much kind of it's almost becoming fertile with that card. So it's not a great week for forward progress spiritually, but I'm sure it's going to be a great week for inward progress because uh, that, that's just, that's what matters all the time. And that's what my guides just said to me as well, which is rather nice, kind of helps me along to the next thing. Uh, so I'm asking for a Doreen Virtue Ascended Masters card, please, for Aries, for the sign of eight, for Aries, for the month of May, 2019. That's an Ascended Masters card, please, for Aries, for the month of May 2019. I'll ask again, please, for a card for the month of May 2019 for the sign of Aries. And what have we got? Flow of Prosperity. I do feel that love kind of is still on the back burner with this, but this is no bad thing in terms of love. It gets things moving, it gets things working. And it's actually a lot like the Queen of Pentacles, only it's an oracle card. And this time, she's the right way up. It's Lakshmi and a flow of prosperity. Just look at all the flowers, the happiness, the truth in this card and the uh, the shining golden halo there. That makes such a difference uh, when, when we uh, get down to any kind of spiritual work, any kind of healing work. And we feel that uh, that spark within us come out and really be a halo. Uh, maybe a halo that no one else can see is what's come to me quite strongly. But look, we've also got here, uh, we've got the elephant figure, which to me is, is representing Ganesh. And uh, whenever Ganesh comes up, that's a yes. So we've got a bit of a no and we've got a definite yes there. And uh, this is telling us that no matter what might be reversed in terms of the Queen of Pentacles coming out reversed, uh, things keep going, things keep working the way they're supposed to. Okay, so let's do a Work Your Light card, please, for the sign of Aries for the third week of May 2019. That's a Work Your Light card, please, for the sign of Aries for the, la for the third week of May 2019. That's a card for the third week of May 2019, please, for the sign of Aries. And she's told me to take the card off the bottom, so we'll take the card off the bottom. And here it is. It is Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future. Yeah, important to do that. This, right, is, we've almost, we, in fact, we have, right, we got this one for the second week where we're coming out of the, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Now we're at the end of the tunnel, okay? Things are looking good. There's a hint of a trickster here, though. 
There really is. So uh, when we talk about breaking the uh, the chains, we're coming back into matters of love now um, as we're contemplating what's happened in the second week with this very strong character coming back on the scene. We've got to think about what to do. But remember, the goddess energy is there this week. The goddess energy is strong. So maybe you can make it work. Maybe it's worth a try. Only you know, guys. I'll say it again. It's fluid energy. It uh, addresses itself to everyone a little bit differently. Okay, another quick drink of water and... No, it's a drink of tea, actually. Mm. Absolutely love Earl Grey tea. Uh, this wand is going to be given away to a subscriber, guys. Um, it's a very, very earthy sycamore uh, stick that I picked up off the lane and carved. It's all dried out. It's been a couple of years now since I carved it. Um, I've left the bark on the underneath of the handle there uh, to really give it an earthy energy. But to lift it, we've got silver lace agate on the end here and uh, a raw quartz point on the front with some little celestite chips there to elevate the energy, to lift it up. This is going to be given away to a subscriber at the end of May. So get subscribing if you haven't, guys, please. I desperately need a 1,000 subscribers so I can get back to going live again. Okay, back to it. So now we've got to, this is going to be for the last week of May 2019. Okay, guys, this is a card, please, for Aries, the sign of Aries for the month of May 2019, the fourth week. So this is a card, please, for the fourth week of May 2019 for the sign of Aries. And what have we got? And it's... Sorry, two fell out. Right, okay, let's, let's do them both. That's the only thing I can do, really, okay. And I've pulled out a significator because I wasn't sure. This is the significator for those two, right, because I got completely confused there. It's the Ten of Cups. It's looking good. It's joyful. It came out the right way up, okay. This came out upside down. I'm rather happy to say the Nine of Swords. It's waking up from a nightmare. Uh, the nightmarishness of it is certainly turned on its head, as we saw uh, towards the end of the third week there. We're really out of the tunnel now, but we're starting to think, OMG, what did I do? What did I say? What happened? And uh, this plays into matters of love as well, okay? But the Ten of Cups is the significator there, so it's all on the way to good things, and it's waking up from a nightmare, not having one. Also, the Hermit came through the right way up, and Aries, your energy is going to be a bit like the Hermit. Actually, I can see... Quite a lot of the time in May, but most definitely in this fourth week. But it's not going to be the hermit just by yourself. It's going to be the hermit working things out while opportunities are flowing around you. And what are you going to do with those opportunities, Aries? It's up to you. It really is. So try and take the long view of it. Try not to be too stiff about things, OK? Uh, the, the, I can see, as we look through all these readings so far, that forgiveness is going to go a long, long way for Aries in May 2019. So I'm now asking for an Oracle card, please, an Ascended Masters card for the sign of Aries for the fourth, for the final week of May 2019. That's a card for the last week of May 2019 for the sign of Aries, please. A card for the sign of Aries for the last week of May 2019. I notice I'm still on the Ascended Masters. I'm sure that's what I'm meant to do. So here is the Ascended Masters card. Uh, take charge of the situation and it's Moses okay and uh, what Moses reminds us of is that uh, these amazing spiritual characters from Bible times that, that may be mythical or not could actually turn the sea back okay so in esoteric terms in spiritual terms uh, there is a great deal of power behind forgiveness this month, Aries. Uh, particularly as we get to the fourth week, it's going to be really important. If you want to move mountains, be ready to forgive. That's what I'm saying. Let's do a work your light card and find out. A work your light card, please, for the sign of Aries for the fourth week of May 2019. That's a work your light card, please, for the sign of Aries for the fourth week in May 2019. And what we've got here is... Pillar of Light and the Age of Light both came out together. No bad thing. So, generally speaking, it is the Age of Light, Aries, but only if you want it to be. Okay, so be willing to get those higher chakras lit up as we go through the month. The more forgiveness, the better. That is what I'm saying, and that is what I'm meaning. And uh, just doesn't, doesn't that just back this one up, which also fell out? This is Pillar of Light. So, the Age of Light says you've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay, so time to search for the hero inside yourself, but it's there. And a pillar of light, your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. 
Okay. And uh, I'll say that's what I say so often to you because of this card, Aries. Um, the most important interpretation of any reading is the one you put on it. Fluid energies, it's different for everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, it really is. So pillar of light, your vibration is rising and you are the oracle. And uh, this character looks to be held up on this shaft of light here. Uh, really kind of being held up into the light and being seen and being visible. Something of the, the, something of the sign of Leo in the characteristics there actually, which doesn't always sit well with Aries, but be prepared to show out a bit, be prepared to show off a bit and actually to act out a bit if you really want to because your vibration is rising. And uh, again, it's this subject of forgiveness. It is a very, very uplifting, a very elevating thing if you can forgive Aries. So that's the attitude to have. Just keep it love and light, Aries. I, I probably say that to every sign because that's what I believe in, like a religion almost. Uh, because it's really, really true. Um, or at least I think it's really, really true. I'm not like a religion in that sense. Other belief systems are available, folks. Okay. So, right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, oh, I must wash my hands again. Still doing fires and making wands and things craziness but uh, great to connect with you guys i'll be up again very soon and as i said i will be doing uh, more videos for the sign of aries more tarot spreads uh, as we go through the month this is just a general one looks like it's all about forgiveness um subscribe please if you haven't already and tap that like button uh, tap the bell i'm sorry tap the bell to make sure you don't miss anything Leave me a comment. I would love, love to share the journey with you guys. Um, at the moment, YouTube isn't showing me any comments, but it says you're leaving them. I'm very grateful. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and thanks again for watching. Have a good one, Aries. Bye.